Do not be defeated because if you're breathing and the sun is shining, then God has a purpose for you. You know, life can throw you some curves. And it's not just the things that you see coming, but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over. And we, you know, are dealing with a lot of normal times where people feel like already their plate is full. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, there comes these unexpected things that just make us feel like we're overwhelmed and you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full and you already said, I can't take another thing. And then out of nowhere, here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it. This question, am I going to make it? Is something that each and every individual is asking themselves all over this nation and in many places of the world. And in your homes, somewhere in your heart, these words are echoing. Am I going to make it? Somebody needs to know today you're going to make it. Somebody needs to know today you're doing all right. You may not be what you ought to be, but you're not what you used to be. And you're going to get there by God's grace. Don't you give up. Don't you quit. And don't you keep putting yourself down. You're doing better than you think you are. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 gives 28 times and seasons in life. It says there's a time to be born, there's a time to die. There's a time to laugh, there's a time to cry. There's a time to dance, there's a time to mourn. There's a time to gather, there's a time to, 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 to let go. All It's 28 different times in life. The one time I can't find in there is the time to quit. There is no time to quit in your life in this. If you keep going, that's how you get to heaven. Tell somebody, this is no time to quit. You may have bars, you may have chains, but you're still blessed. When you come into a season of struggle like you're in right now, do not be defeated because if you're breathing and the sun is shining, then God has a purpose for you. You're still alive. So therefore, God is not done with you. You're still here. God has a plan for your life. God has things in mind for you beyond anything you could ever imagine. Shake off feeling sorry for yourself. Shake off, don't nobody love me talk. Shake off all of that talk of, you know, being a victim. It's time to encourage yourself in the Lord. Stand up to life. Stand up to this challenge and encourage yourself in the Lord. It's bad. We've lost a lot and we don't have a guarantee of anything in the future except God is with us. The person who prevails is the person who refuses to give up. The person with the mental toughness is the person who will triumph. The testing of your faith produces perseverance. The man who can get up one more time than the time he's knocked down is going to be the winner. Being knocked down is not a problem, but staying down is a problem. Get up, because success begins by getting up one more time than you've been knocked down. The Bible declares in Proverbs 24, 16, listen to this. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again, again. You're not a failure for falling down. You're a failure for staying down. You know, it's amazing how many people in the world have done phenomenal things after having failed numerous times in their life. And so failure doesn't have to be the end. Making mistakes doesn't have to be the end. I think most people, if they're going to be successful, they have to press through some things. And um, 
One of the things that we tend to do, or that one of the lies that the enemy tells us is, well, there's just no way. There's just, there's no way. There's no way out. But we have to remember that there's always a way out. And those of us who are believers in Jesus Christ know that he said in John 14, 6, I am the way. We may not know the way, and he may not be telling us the way, but he wants us to believe that he is the way maker. God will make a way for you, but he does require you to never give up. If you invite Jesus in, if you passionately get on your knees and pray, and you invite him in, he will show up. And he will literally make a way out of no way. He's always there. Sometimes you don't feel he's there. Sometimes you wonder where in the world of God are you. He's always there. You remember that verse? I will never leave you nor forsake you, period. You cannot walk through one moment of adversity as a child of God without his presence. I will never leave you nor forsake you, period. Not except if what? No. A child of God is always in the company, in the presence of Almighty God through His Son, Jesus Christ, who lives on the inside of us. What an awesome assurance. Don't give up on yourself, because if you do, then what you're saying is God's not big enough to change me. There's nobody that is beyond change. God can change every single one of us. I don't want you to give up. I don't want you just to throw in the towel and quit. If all you can do right now is just get out of that bed and walk across the room, do something. And if you'll do what you can do, God will do what you cannot do. I want to encourage somebody out there who's thinking about quitting and giving up. Somebody who has been praying for years for things to turn around. And they're asking God, they're questioning God, where is it? What, when, when, where? Send me a sign, send me a burning bush, send me something to confirm that my hopes and my dreams and things that I want to accomplish are going to actually happen. You're thinking about quitting, you're thinking about giving up. This is for you.